I originally applied to Birmingham just because out of all the places that I looked at for university, it was definitely the one I sort of felt most at home straight away. Everyone that I met here seemed really friendly and it just felt right. Since graduating, I stayed here to do a master's, which consists of three short lab projects. Um, and the final one of those I chose to carry on into a PhD and I'm about five months in now. My undergraduate degree was really, I think, vital in, in what I do now. It just gave me such a broad background of just human biology in general. Um, and specifically in the third year modules, I did immunology module, which I thought was like, I learnt more in those five weeks than I've ever learnt before, like, and how to analyse data and read papers critically um, and just understanding general immunity. I thought it was absolutely vital sort of background as well as the third year project as well for giving you sort of techniques and proficiency like that way. My current PhD project is all about looking at the role of T cells in the liver and how they mediate immune tolerance. Um, I think this is really important because liver disease is a big killer. Some days I'll have a lot of lab work to do and I might be in the lab all day doing experiments. Other days I'll be on the machinery such as flow cytometer or um, confocal microscope looking at analysing data. Other days I'll be in the office reading or writing or going to talks or presenting my data. Like it's just so much, so many different things that go on. My top tips for going into research and choosing a PhD project, I would always say choose something you're interested in is absolute number one. You don't want to be coming into lab late and on weekends when it's something you're not 100% driven by. Um, secondly, you've got to decide what you want out of a PI, a supervisor. So my supervisor's sort of young and quite new. Um, it means she doesn't have quite as much of a lab or quite as much sort of publication record, but at the same time she's got more time for, for me and more, she's sort of more driven, whereas you might want a supervisor who's sort of maybe been around a bit longer, might not have as much time for you, but they've got a great publication record, they've got absolutely loads of experience. Thirdly, I would say think about where you want to do a PhD. You could do, as I did, and stay in Birmingham, um, where you know the supervisors, or you could sort of definitely keep your options open in moving somewhere else um, and looking for what PhD lab would suit you.